Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can create the relative dates within Power BI. Relative dates is a relatively concept feature as it shows like in last seven days or in last two months or in last two years what is the value that your dashboard is having or the say your sales your profit is having. So let's go into the Power BI and see it in action. And just before that, a quick information that uh, this spreadsheet, the Google spreadsheet is present in the description. So if you want to look back uh, any of the previous videos along with the title and link, you can view it and jump directly to that video via this link. This will going to help you easily use the search and find feature to move any tutorial that you want. Also, you can use it like your learning uh, repository as well for Power BI. Okay, so let's move on to the Power BI to see it in action. So here we are within Power BI and there may be a situation that this filter pane is not enabled. So you may need to come into the view and click on the filter. If I again click, it will be hidden. If I click again, it will be shown. So it's like toggle on and off. And this filter pane allows us to produce the relative filter. Now what I'm going to do is for the entire page, I will just pick the, uh, the date. So date is present here in the order date. So I'm just dragging it over here. Right now, the filter type, what we have is the basic filtering. That means each individual dates that is being given to us, we can select individual dates and see what is basically happening over here. All right. So I'll come just here and clear the filter. The other option that we have is the advanced filtering and relative date. So we have relative date and relative time. So we don't have time information here, but we have date information here. So we were going to choose the relative date and relative date shows the power of rel relativity. Like for example, in the last two years or in the next two years or in this, and then you can choose the right criteria. So in the last, and we are going to choose uh, what we want. So if I just uncheck this include today, this will make sure that I am not including today whenever I am choosing it. And if I want to include, I will just enable it. Okay. So in the last, I would say, let's say for example, 10 years, I want to see last 10 years worth of data for my dashboard. If, if my dashboard contains that data. So if I'll just click on apply and if you will see the information is updated, if I choose last nine years, I'll click apply and my dashboard is updated. So this is depends on how much data that we have. So my data is basically ending here in 2012. That's why I've chosen this big field. However, if you see the data is taking a range of uh, 11, this is uh, 4th of November, 2011 to 3rd of November, 2020. That means the last nine years worth of data. So this is uh, the great feature which we have and we can choose like the days, weeks, calendar weeks, months, calendar months or calendar year. So days, uh, the difference is that you have sometimes fiscal weeks, uh, which company follows for their financial reporting and analysis. But then you can choose between the f those uh, values which you have for financial year or for the calendar weeks perspective, which is from January to December. So that's the great feature which you have. And I wanted to make you aware that you can use it for the either for the entire page or maybe for all the pages if you bring it. But if you want it for a specific visualization, you need to select the visualization and put the field here. If you just want to filter a specific visualization for maybe last five days, last 10 days, months and all. So based on where you are putting it, either at the page all page or on this visual, you will going to get the effect and the updated visual or updated dashboard or entire report will be updated based on your filter positioning. So that's about it in the relative filter uh, tutorial and I'll meet you in the new tutorial with the new topic.